intersectionality is a crucial framework for analysis, praxis, and politics. It recognizes the limitations of adopting a single axis of identity as an analytical category and that identities are multifaceted and context-specific. Identities are products of history, culture, and society. At the same time, intersectionality highlights how inequalities stem from intersecting systems of oppression. We must understand intersectionality in a dynamic way. It is always contextual and relational. We experience privilege and oppression differently in different times, places, and cultures. Intersectionality helps us to ask again these questions. Whose stories are being told? Why and how? It helps us to focus again on how a diverse workforce means diverse media and how to give space to the complexity of identities, lives and representations. For instance, research argues that it is in and through representations that media audiences are invited to construct a sense of who we are in relation to who we are not, whether as us and them, insider and outsider, normal and deviant. At the same time, however, the media can also serve to affirm social and cultural diversity and provide crucial spaces in and through which imposed identities can be resisted, challenged and changed. It is important to consider how intersectional media practices may expand our understanding of power and process in the media. Representation matter as much as production practices, so this is why we must learn how to create and hold space for diverse and marginalized voices and experiences. Thus, we must provide space for people who have direct experiences of oppression, People who already have access to creating media in one capacity or another can use that resource to offer access to people who do not have this privilege of resource, centering those voices of people who have some sort of direct experience. If we think about mainstream journalism, marginalized groups are the most underrepresented as both journalists and subjects. Research shows that many communities have encountered a process of othering in mainstream media. For example, when white journalists interview people from black, indigenous or people of color communities, or when heteronormative people interview non-binary gender or queer subjects. Scholar Sandra Jepsen and the Media Action Research Group argue that journalists must therefore not just care about issues, but also care for audience members. The logic of mainstream media assumes that white middle-class journalists are objective while marginalized groups, like indigenous people, people of color, women, disabled people, LGBTQI people, are subjective. In addition, this subjectivity is perceived as a negative attribute. In reality, this subjectivity is a subject position that could improve the insights and perspective of journalists. For this reason, it enhances the quality of journalism. We must focus not just on presenting more sympathetic representations, and giving more visibility to marginalizing individuals and communities. We must understand the intersectional social locations of our subjects in order to achieve in-depth high-quality reporting and to improve relationships among reporters, interviewees, related communities and broader audiences. Jepsen and the Media Action Research Group believe that media production should make space for workforce and subjects from the same communities the media content is about. The content will be more accurate, it will bring new perspectives to reporting, and it will help to get closer to some of the complex details of the intersectional social issues at stake. This is a matter of ethics of media production and ethics of representation. There is the need to implement practices that build support among those involved and create complex representations that fully reflect people's lives. Intersectionality is not just a matter of diversity, but it is about looking at processes and systems of social inequalities in order to create better media industries and media content. Tackling structures of social inequalities will help build social justice projects and foster transformative politics of representation and production. Following on, a good example about digital media from the community for the community as an empowering and ethical force. I hope you have enjoyed this unit. Thank you for your attention.